Hello my friends, welcome to another episode of Your Questions Answered. Um, I'm very excited because we put some questions, we've asked if you wanted, had some questions on Facebook and I have some questions people asked. So Rosemary asked, how did you get started in stamping? How did the name The Stamps of Life come about? Well, I started, um, how did I get into stamping? Actually, I started stamping back before my first one was born. I've always wanted to do creative things with my life, and I always do creative something. And um, I started stamping, um, she's 18, so I started stamping be before I was even pregnant, so probably about 20 years ago. And um, just, I just always loved it. You know, I, I, I like getting ink on my fingers. I like that. And how did the name The Stamps of Life come about? That's a funny question, because when we started the company, um, we, we, uh, we always say that we started the company on a dare and a prayer because my Uncle Ken dared us to do it and we prayed a lot. And so we were just like, okay, you know, we don't need a website. We'll just do a blog and we'll just have PayPal buttons on there, which obviously that was a joke. It didn't happen. We got a website right away. But originally that was the thought. And originally my the name of my blog, my blog that I've used for years before this, was called The Scraps of Life. Because I was mostly, at that time I was doing more scrapbooking than stamping. I was doing both, but it was both. So it was the scraps of life, you know, just the pieces of life kind of thing. So I said, well, we should change it to be the stamps of life. So that's where the stamps of life was born. Um, it's funny because I always think of the name. I'm like, I wonder if that's a good name. I, I've never, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm like, is it a good name? I mean, people know it now and it has the name, it has stamps in the name. So that's good. You know, I didn't want to name it something that wouldn't mean... Like I didn't want to name it Purple Turtle or something because then you wouldn't know what I sold. So so it's it's the Stamps of Life. But I know, it's not kind of funny? I don't know. I, I, I'm not quite sure, but I, I like it. I like it. Um, Rosemary asked another question. She says, is pink your favorite color? It is not. It is my second best favorite color. The best color in the world is purple. Purple is the best color in the world. And everyone that I work with always knows that purple is the best color in the world. They're not allowed to have an opinion about any other color. Purple is the best color in the world. Um, you'll see that this is kind of the, the background of the wall is, is pretty much my purple. That is my purple. Now, why is my company pink? Well, purple, marketing-wise, just doesn't cut it. It's not everyone's favorite color, even though it should be. So pink is more of a better color. So that's why the company is pink. But pink is the second best color in the world. Orange is the worst color in the world. Just letting you know, yellow and orange are my least favorites. But um, yeah, pink, pink and purple are the best. Um, Kristen wants to know, do you use regular foam board to stamp on or is it something else? I have looked and I don't want to get poster board if you use something different and it messes up my stamping. Thank you. Kristen, you're welcome. Guess what? It's not foam board. It's um, foam. It's foam. But it's, it's like fun foam. If you go to your local craft store, my local craft store is Michael's. It's, it's fun foam, but it's thicker. It's a quarter of an inch. And this sheet costs 99 cents. Oh, you can kind of see the, the label that I've tried to take off and it doesn't come off very well. Rude. They used to staple them on. Now they put an icky sticker. But it's 9 inches by 12. And it has the company name Createology or the name of it. And it's 99 cents, I think. And I use a coupon because I'm really cheap. So then I get it for like 60 cents because I'm really cheap. But um, I'm telling you, always get black because when you stamp off, it still doesn't show. So you, yeah, it's the best stuff in the world. And I always get a couple, especially if they ever come on sale. Oh, whoops, sorry. Especially if they ever come on sale because um, you can't have too many of these. So it's, it's like fun foam, but it's a little thicker and it's squishy. You need that squish, okay? Let's see. Um, Lori wants to know, are you coming to Oregon, Washington anytime, anytime soon? Yes, in a week and a half. And I hope you see this video before then. We are going to Bellevue, Washington, November 11th and 12th. You have to come see me, okay? And, and if I'm coming all the way from Southern California up there, I don't care if you're anywhere in the state of Washington, you have to go. Is that the deal? I think that's the deal. Okay. Um, Holly says, yes, come to Washington. Okay. Um, Oh, Shelly says, same here. Come on up to Washington. I'm going to get there as fast as I can. Um, Judy says, do you have plans for a stamp set with the idea of wish you were here, missing you, across the miles? Ooh, that's a good idea. 
Um, if you ever have um, ideas for stamps, please send them to me through my website because I keep them on file. I'll try to file this one, but what happens is when I get an email with ideas, I, I um, star them in order of how much I love them, and then I file them in my email folder box. That way I know exactly where they are, and whenever I need an idea, I can go to that file folder. So please send me any ideas, and I'll star them, and I put them in there, and, and I, I love ideas because some of my stamp sets have come from customers. And lastly, Deanna asks, how do you store your stamps? I'm always on the lookout for a better way. Oh, I don't have any here at the office, but normally how I store my stamps at home is I use um, our, our page protectors that we send to our club members for free every couple months. And every time a club member orders three stamp sets or more, you get a new free stamp, uh, free storage sheet. So they're, um, you put them in a three ring binder that you buy at the, at the office supply store, and they store in there. So next time, um, I'll do a video on that just to show, uh, show a refresher course on that. Okay. Thank you so much for an, uh, watching this other episode, a new episode of Your Questions Answered, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.